What's going on YouTube? I'm Jonathan Forfitz and today I'm going to provide you with some of my most favorite pluggy tips that you probably have or have not known about. Without further ado, let's roll the intro and begin the video. Flawless victory. Fatality. Tip number one, muling. Did I just say muling? Forfeits, Pluggy has an infinite stash, what are you talking about muling? Let me explain. Everyone knows about the shared stash on Pluggy, but do you guys know that the shared stash can actually affect the time it takes to get into your character's game? Nope. Yep, it most certainly does. But no worries, I'm going to tell you guys a tip how to combat that. Move all of your items out of your shared stash onto a meal character, and that way you can use their personal stash like a bank. Your pluggy load time won't become affected because the only time personal stashes get loaded in the game is when you're actually playing that character. Happy muling and I hope you guys enjoy this tip. Tip number 2. Easy high runes. On Pluggy, we all know that we can keep our maps identified, right? But do you guys know that you can actually abuse this for getting high runes? Let me show you. So basically, you want to keep re-rolling your lower Karas map until you find one similar to exactly like this. You're looking for a map with two campfires in close proximity to the waypoint as possible. The reason you want this has to do with game time efficiency. Now that you've found your map seed, set the player's difficulty to 8 and keep repeating the map over and over and over again. Lower Karas has a bunch of high rune patterns and this is by far the best way to find high runes without breaking much of a sweat. I'm going to let my boy Dobrunsky125 explain this to you guys better. So I've linked his YouTube video in the description below for you guys to get a much better understanding of Lower Karas map rerolling. Tip number 3. Keyboard Command Are you tired of retyping slash players over and over again every single game? Do this simple keyboard trick. Type slash players x the amount of players you want to add in the game. Hit enter, now hit enter again and press the up arrow on your keyboard. This allows you to copy and paste the command all over again. Now keep doing this until you've entered the command 5 to 7 times. And the next time you enter you won't have to retype that annoying command all over again. This allows your game to stay on the difficulty that you've just typed. Now if you're constantly changing difficulties within your game, leave the command set to players 1 and just keep re-replacing the number with whatever character level you want to be on. Tip number 4. Creating a backup of your save file. Yes, that is right, I'm going to include this tip for you guys. You always want to keep a backup of your pluggy save file. Let's be honest, we invest a ton of time in our files, to have them go missing or corrupt isn't a wonderful feeling. In this day and age, you guys can pick up a USB thumb drive at any dollar store for a buck. I'd buy that for a dollar. It's honestly worth the investment and that's why I'm mentioning it in this video. If you are not sure where the save file is located on your computer, don't worry, my next tip will explain that. Tip number 5. Reusing your socket quest on Pluggy. Now I'm probably gonna get some hate over mentioning this next tip. And most of you probably don't know there technically is a way for you guys to reuse your socket quest on single player. However, I'm willing to take the criticism to maybe improve the game out there for some other players. Alrighty. The tip I'm going to show you guys is nothing more than copying and pasting your files. It's really that simple and it's really not hard to perform. First thing you're going to want to do is have a character with the socket quest active on. Now what you're going to do is make a folder on your desktop, call it whatever you like. I prefer to call mine SQ, short term for socket quest. After you've made the folder, you want to go into your Diablo SE files. Now mine is under my D drive, everyone's file locations are going to be different. The main goal here is to find the save file locations. After you've found your core files, select what patch you made your characters under. In my case, it's 1.13c. This might be different for you guys. How you can tell you've got the correct file is after you click the version you're on, all of your characters will be listed in the save file. If you want to back up your save file right now by copying and pasting it to a USB drive like I mentioned in my last tip, you might as well do it right now. Inside you will find all of your character names. You are looking for the character's name that you have the socket quest open on. In my case, it's on my paladin name on. Once you've found and selected all of his 8 files, copy and paste them into the SQ file. Now enter Pluggy. Once you're in the game, find the item you would like to perform the quest on. For this video's demonstration, I'm using a monarch. Once found, go over to Larzik and get him to add sockets onto the item. After he's done adding sockets onto your item, walk back over to your stash, Place the socketed item into your shared stash. It's really really important that you guys place the item into your shared stash. If you don't, you will lose the item when you replace your character files. Now that you've moved your item back into your stash, close Pluggy completely. After you've closed Pluggy, open up the save file location again. Now copy and paste all of the files we made in SQ into your save file location. Agree to replacing the files. 
and bam, just like that guys, you never used your socket quest. You can keep repeating this over and over again as long as you have the socket quest files. Just make sure to keep updating the files if you change the gear on the character you are using the quest on. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my most favorite pluggy tips. If you liked my video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell. If you guys have any tips for the next tip video, please leave them down in the comment section below. And if I use any tips from the comment section below, I will maybe showcase them in my next tip video. Once again, YouTube, best of luck on magic farming, and may the odds ever be in your favor. <coughs> or mine. <laughs>